<clears throat> okay, uh, Keith Harrington here. We're going to attempt to uh, change out an RV awning on my camper. And uh, I think I got it all calculated what I got to do to make this work by myself uh, with a little help from my wife. Uh, it would be nice to have a couple more hands um, to help with this, but we're going we're gonna to give it a shot. I think I can pull this off. Uh, this is a Domenic, Domenic awning, and it does does have electric. So the only uh, problem that I have to keep an eye on is a spring that it doesn't unwind on me, and that's on the right side. There's the right right side spring side right here, and you've got to put the uh, pin. The pin has to go in there. Uh, to lock the spring and I've used uh, uh, a T-handle to put it in there and it does work pretty good. It fits perfectly so that should do the trick. The other side is uh, electric. Let's see if I can get you up here to see it. And I just got to disconnect, just have to disconnect the uh, the wire there and that should be safe enough to to complete this job the only thing i'm not sure about is um is the arms the arms on this um they do have does have a a a uh, tensioner on there a piston that assists when bringing the arm out and in it keeps it keeps it tight and assists assist it takes the load off of it i don't think that'll spring it's already out so I believe it'll stay in the out outward position so it shouldn't give me any issue if I had it pull back in it would probably be under pressure I'm assuming I hope that's correct we'll find out here shortly and uh, we'll, we'll see if this is gonna do the trick This part is very important. We learn the hard way. Do not remove rivets on the right side, the side with the spring. I did not think this part all the way through. Even though you install a pin at the arm connector, it does not secure the spring once the rivets are removed. I was lucky that a small part of the rivet and the end cap was still holding it under load. I put myself in a very dangerous place. The spring is loaded and the only thing stopping the spring from unloading is the rivets and the end cap. If you must remove the spring side, unwind it first before removing rivets and spring assembly. You will see what happens later when pulling the spring from the cylinder. This is the most important part of this video to remember that the spring can hurt you. Please watch and be cautious when removing the spring. It's not sun starting to come out. It's supposed to be a fairly cool day, but uh, the heat's getting gradually climbing as a as the day goes on so okay let's, let's hope this 
this goes smooth without any issues. top I gotta get to. Uh, probably need to move my truck a little bit. Now where we go ahead and take uh, take the bolts out of the top of the, the arms, release the awning. Hopefully that's going to go okay. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and release, take the bolts out right now, and get ready for that. thing I need to do is go ahead and disconnect the, the connection to the uh, power for the motor. Let's see if I can do that without falling off the ladder. Get a little breezy up here. Say so far so good because things could change at any minute <laughs> but we are going to get this done so so far so far so good gotta use a ladder that's got a little shorter on one side so it's that level okay so far everything's looking good okay let's see what we got here Okay. 
there's the there's the motor okay I didn't mark that going back in but I don't think uh, there's really no no position it needs to go back in so it should be okay okay I'm gonna take this out hey and that's why I had the gloves on I even had a pin in there so we know we know that uh, you didn't get to see that on camera but this the thing actually unwound and I had a I had a rod in there and it it come out which is not supposed to happen so I will give you caution and be careful about that to make removal easier Cut between the valance and the awning so the valance can be removed first. Use silicon lubricant to help with removal and installation. Out. That came out pretty easy. I'll turn this ladder over. So. You need that uh, no, I think, so. I think it's got two cords with it. The new one. Okay, now we're going to pull the tube out while I hold up. This goes okay. Just be careful with the sharp edges. It is a lot easier with two people, so. Okay, we're ready now to go up top, and loosen it up there. This part can be a bit difficult as you're pulling everything across the arm. Like I said, you can see how this is. Uh, this is the bottom side, and this is the top side. So this is going to get slid in from that side into that rail. So it's important when feeding the new awning into the rail that you take your time. You don't want to snag or tear it on the way in. It's important to make sure there's no sharp edges on the binding openings. Using a small file or sandpaper and making sure there's smooth surfaces will ensure that the bindings go in correctly. Well, I've got the motor side already on and riveted, and now I'm going to move on over to the um, the other coil side, get that done. I also um, shot screws in here in the uh, uh, the rubber piece that holds the uh, the awning to the drum here, 
and I already shot that in place to keep it from sliding left to right. I balanced the difference out. The only thing left to do is once I get it, once I get this up in the air, then roll it a couple times. This will straighten out on the top and uh, it'll synchronize and then I'll go ahead and shoot a screw up top. So, but anyway, I'm gonna move on over here to the other side, get that side. <clears throat> yeah, this side here was the side that come loose and uh, once I get it, get this all riveted and back in place, I'm gonna have to go ahead and wind it back up. So that's gonna be a fun job. So. <clears throat> After many mistakes in the process, I have learned if you leave the spring side intact, you can pull it out from the left side, and then you only have to deal with the motor side when putting things back together. This will save you time and avoid possible injury. Okay, that's done. Let's get this one. Okay, all right, get all the mandrels picked up so they'll wind up in a tire somewhere. Okay, by the way, uh, the rivets in, in, uh, that work for me, and uh, this is the size you want. Uh, that's uh, 3 16 with a quarter inch um, depth. And that, that did the trick for me, and uh, there may be a more recommended one to use, but that's the one I use. Got these at Lowe's. Okay. What we're going to do, uh, can you get up there and I hand this to you? Okay, here, use the ladder. Here's the ladder. I'm trying. Uh, these, I'm trying to get you on stable ground. You're making a comedy video. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> We're moving into comedy, folks. <laughs> Push me. <laughs> okay. That's my bad yeah, Are you safe up there? You I'm feel good. safe? Now that I'm up here, I'm okay. So hopefully the tailgate won't drop. Oh, funny. <laughs> okay. Got it? Uh-huh. Let me get the side. Take uh, light up over the top of the arm. Over the top of the arm. Right, right at a little channel. Can you lift it? Well, get up there. Is there a specific way it goes in? Uh, I, well, it, it slides in just like upside down there, like it, like it is. Uh, it's in a little groove. Let me get this on here. Hold on a minute. I'll I think you. I got it backwards. Hold on, I'll be right there. Be right there. Yeah, I think I got it backwards. Hold on. Okay. You know, folks, he's having me do this when I have a bad back. Okay. All right. All right, there's a nut back there. See that little uh, bolt? Okay, we're going bolt. for comedy. Can I go with that? <laughs> go with the bolt. Thank you. <laughs> This is the nut, right here, under the hat. Okay, get that started so it doesn't want coming out at some point. Okay, I'm gonna move over to the other side. And, uh, I'm gonna stand here to watch. Uh, this, I've gotta, I've gotta wind that one up yet. Let me, let me get a pair of channel locks. Yeah, 
you always wear gloves on this because the spring side is very rough. If it goes haywire, you're in big trouble because your knuckles. Okay. 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 This rag was a bad idea. Trying to save save it from getting scratched. Where am I at here? Six. That's six. Nine. I need that pen. Pen? It's down there. Yeah. Oh, pen. Yeah, that great thing. Nine is supposed to be the magic number. We'll see if that does a trick or not. Okay, well, I forgot to turn the camera on, so you didn't get to see all the craziness getting that thing in there. Uh, got it wound up nine turns, and uh, uh, had to take the pair of channel locks and turn it just a tad to get it inside that, into that arm. So we're going to try to see if we can roll it up right now and see, see how that goes. And we'll go according to plan, we will see about that. Okay, here's gonna run it up, let it synchronize. Wound the wrong way. Yep. Yep. Yeah, backwards. <laughs> oh, great. Well. Well, forgot to turn the camera back on. Uh, I had to turn, I had to take this end out again, unwind it, and wind it back up. So I got it wound back up. It's working good now. I'm in the process of uh, locking in the top, top bead up there, the top of the awning with the screw, keep it from moving, but I want to synchronize it a few times. So I'm gonna run it in and out. Whatever you do, make sure you get that right the first time. It's a bear to get off the second time. Shoot the screw down. Overall, it wasn't a terrible job, but it is challenging. Anyway, I think we're done with this uh, this job. I think it's going to be okay. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the put the awning up for now and uh, call it a wrap. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully, you got something out of this. We definitely did. Uh, it was quite a quite a task uh, to undertake, and it's it's definitely a couple hour job. Uh, if you have about three or four, three or four people to help, uh, might have cut it down a little bit. But uh, 
Um, it, it, it's, I think it's the challenging part was making sure, well, I, there's a couple challenging parts, running the, uh, the awning across the top, top bead there. Uh, you gotta make sure you grease it up good, put plenty of silicon uh, grease in there, oil, and on both sides, so to slide, the bottom slid in real nice. The top one was a little more difficult because we had to walk it over that arm. If we would have took that arm out uh, or work, worked with it up, which might have been easier. This was the way I went since I was by myself. Uh, if you got two people, it's easy to do it up near the camper, uh, but I didn't have that luxury, so I had to do it. I don't know if it's a hard way, but it was easier for me to, to make it all happen. So we got it done and uh, I think it's gonna, gonna be okay. It's definitely better than the old one. So. Hopefully it'll hold up for, for a few years or whatever, and we won't have to change it again. So I think we got it. There's no tears, no scratches, nothing. Everything will come out nice. So I think we're good. So well, anyway, y'all have a good one. And uh, please sub, uh, subscribe and uh, give me a like, ring that bell. Thanks for watching.